but there's only, I think there's only 40 or, so it says number 27 out of 40. This is the uh, Drady. I got nothing to show you. It's just a box at this point. Okay, I actually don't think I'm gonna open this here, guys, because this is just too much stuff. I'll open it to the side and grab things out. So apparently only 80 of these keyboards are made or something. Something to that degree. We have our PCB, which I'm gonna solder here in a bit. This is a very pretty keyboard, by the way. Like, I almost feel the need to just take photos just like this. This is so pretty. It's so nice, dude. <clears throat> Looks very retro. Although, so the client, I guess this is a, so I don't know, I'm kind of, I'm impartial, I'm mixed about this. So this is the Jur, and I guess the client put their fingerprint on this. Uh, they put their fingerprint on this and I guess it tarnished. I don't exactly know what happened. I think it's a, um, isn't it supposed to be like a uh, NCR 80? No, I, I, honestly, I don't really remember this board all too much. I remember it running. Although I don't know where the client, did they? Oh, I guess there's more accessories here. I love this by the way. I wish more people did like, not uh, like not clear coated brass. It just looks so cool when it tarnishes. I have a few boards, like old, old boards that have that stuff. <sighs> this is, wait, where is this from? That is probably one of the more interesting looking artisans I've seen. Is this from Drop? It's gonna be a nice, I don't, I feel like I need to use a beige keycap set today. So I feel like we're probably gonna have to do that. Okay, I think that's like a daughter board in there. And then we also have, okay, this guy I'm not too worried about. We have a cable, which I believe is over here. So this is gonna be like the, the limo port, which is a little ridiculous. People told me that the uh, Dr. 80s sound better than the 1813. Don't you try it before? Wait, what happened? Uh, this is my first time building this board, so I am not too positive how this would sound versus anything else. Also, we're using switches that I don't think have been maybe frequently used with this particular board, because I was looking at other sound tests. Gently remove this. Is this like, oh, I thought this was fixed foam on the inside. I guess we'll leave that in. I don't foresee this needing it, but we'll see. God, I hope these sit nicely in the plate or in the PCB. They do, thank God. These are pretty. Actually, this PCB is a little tight, which is good. Love the moss color. Yeah, it's really pretty. I think it's gonna look great inside the board too. It's a nice, I think it, uh, it'll accent it very, very nicely. All right, now this is something I don't really recall how to do on this guy. So I don't think this sits in nicely here. I think I gotta like, if I recall, I think I gotta take this off. So this is plugged in with a, I don't know if this is legit Limo connector. I, I, again, I don't know all the details about this board, but a Limo connector. So it's not actually done by USB-C. Now, if I remember correctly, we gotta put this in here, and then we gotta thread this back on. Uh, someone said mustard, nay. Are you not into it? I'm not into ketchup. I hate ketchup personally. Ketchup ain't it for me. This is cool. I'm surprised more people don't do things like this. Although, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna align it so the top. I'm gonna make it so the red dot stays on the top. Because 
That looks clean like that. Mm -mm -mm. I don't know if you guys can see. I can't even fucking see. Cool. And then we got a little Limo style or whatever cable this is. I don't know if it's a Limo. Maybe YC8 or something like that. Beats me. This would plug into the other end of the keyboard. So this would just pop in this way. And bam. Although, I'm gonna have to adjust this after stream. I don't really have a great way to lock this better into place right now. Do I have like a little, I think I got like a wrench or something here. I'll adjust this more after stream. This is an after stream thing so I can get the actual tools for it. PS2 ports when? Please, no PS2 ports. I am good with not doing that. Look at that, look how nice that looks. Let's zoom out a little bit. Look how pretty this is already with this cute little artisan on here. Cause we're using Moss switches. Hydrate, give me one moment. We're using Moss switches. What if I use XMI Thai green? Ooh. Okay, first of all, this looks insane. This looks so good. I really like this. And then the cable to go with this is actually pretty nice to go to do this too. Your U key is off. God damn, I keep looking. You guys keep making me, keep making me look. I want something like this too. This one is pretty expensive when it's sold though. But there's only, I think there's only 40 or, I think the owner said 80, but it says 40 on the back here. So it says number 27 out of 40. I'm not sure how exactly that uh, right this is then. I'm, I'm not really positive, but. So we have Moss linears in here. We have a nice PBT. These are XMI specifically. You guys are, you guys are at war with Insti about mod pipe. That's on you guys. Oof. I like this a lot. This this is pretty, it sounds nice. That is, this is, this is top tier. This is insane. This is a top mounted plateless build. I don't remember, the, have I ever done that before? Have I done top mounted plateless before? Top mount plateless. Oh yeah, the Martingale, you are correct. You are correct, seeing the stars. It's funny, Alex uh, just gets the ear to ear smile when he starts typing. There's a few boards that like, like that's nice, man. It's a nice looking board. I really like this, this turned out really cool. Uh, very exploded Afro plus big forehead always wins. Yes. It's like, it just looks really, really, really nice. Surprisingly sort of, but like, 
I, I wouldn't go ahead and say this is like the most flexy build. I am putting like, I'd say a fair amount of pressure on that. Under normal typing circumstances, it's not moving anywhere. Even this side profile is just hot looking. Well, the back is like a, it's a weight of some sort. I don't know, I think maybe it's like polished stainless steel. I'm not too sure the exact materials used, but the client did tell me they had put a thumbprint on this when they got the keyboard. Yeah, the, the slope does look really nice. All right, see you guys, enjoy ELH's stream. Bye-bye everybody.